Hi, my name's Catherine, welcome to my channel. I have a cleaning and organizing channel here on YouTube, but today's video is going to be slightly different because for the first time in about, honestly, four years, I have finally upgraded my phone and I'm really excited and I want to share that with you. I decided to go for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is right here. Ah! I've opened the actual cardboard box but I haven't actually opened the phone box and I wanted to do a video on it because I personally love watching these videos. To give you a little bit of context, I still have the iPhone 7 Plus and it has been a brilliant phone for me. I've had it since Oh, about 2016. Before I got this phone, I used to upgrade my phones pretty much every year, maybe every two years. I've not done that because life has just been so busy. Since 2016, when I got this, I've had a baby, we've moved house, we've been doing a complete home remodel of the house. So basically, I couldn't really justify buying a brand new phone as frequently as I did. So that's why I've had this one for a while and honestly it's been great it's never let me down I've used it pretty much to death every single day but it's definitely time for an upgrade so I decided to go for the iPhone 12 Pro Max because I love the really big phones I enjoy having a big screen because I watch lots of YouTube videos and I just enjoy it the other thing that was quite important to me was the camera on the phone as well and that's why I decided to go for the Pro model. Historically, I've always gone for white phones or the gold phones, so I wanted to do something completely different and I went for the graphite colour. Usually, I would have probably gone for the gold. It looks like a gorgeous champagne colour, but I thought I need a bit of a change. I'd like to get something completely different and that's why I went for this one. And honestly, I usually put a phone case on the back of it anyway. So I have a contract with Virgin Media here in the UK and this bundle was great because as you've probably noticed, I got AirPods just free with the phone and I have also got an accessories bundle as well, which hasn't actually arrived yet. So that will include a phone case, like a charger pad type thing, which I'm highly excited about because I've just been plugging my old phone into the wall. This is like a whole new world to me. So I'm really excited for that to come. Let's open this up. Firstly, I'm going to open the AirPods because I've been wanting a pair of these for such a long time, but I really couldn't justify the price of them. And I've got some big like noise cancelling headphones there. So I don't know, these are great because they're so portable, but I think they were about £130 and I thought, I can't justify it. So I didn't buy them. So when I saw that these AirPods came with the phone, I was thrilled. So that was just another incentive to get these. So I'm gonna open these ones first. And take this wrapper off. I love the packaging for Apple products. It's just so sleek, isn't it? So I'll go into this bit. I've got, I'm not sure what's in this. Like a little information type booklet. We'll just put that to one side. That's not exciting. So I'll take it out and it's in the charging case. So this is so much smaller than I thought it would be. It's really, really cute. I'll take this off. It's got a little bit that goes around the side. <gasps> Look, there she is. How sweet is that? And there's a little silver shiny bit there as well. This is so much smaller than what I thought they would be. So going into the case. Oh, I love how that's magnetized. Yes, that's so satisfying. Just pull those out. There's one. Look, hi, 
so cute. And that just goes back in a little hole like that. Again, I think that's magnetized. Is it? It kind of feels like it is magnetized, so that is so exciting. I'm really thrilled to have a pair of AirPods. Look, I keep wanting to call them AirPods. AirPods. And they're really lightweight. They've got this little silver bit on the bottom, like that. Oh, yeah. So cute. And. I've noticed there's a little tiny light just in the middle and when I put them back in the light goes on so if I just put them back in is the light come on oh it's flashing at me wow they are so cute is there anything else that comes in this box yes there is a USB charging cable in there as well. I can't even describe how happy I am to have a pair of these. Love the compact little case. I can just put that in my bag and be on my way. And as much as I love these ones that are behind me, they're quite bulky when I'm just on the go. I love to take those traveling with me, but if I'm just going about my day-to-day -day life, I will definitely be bringing these with me. So having these AirPods was a complete added bonus and it was one of the reasons why I just decided to stick with Virgin Mobile as well. So now onto the unboxing of my brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is here. Now, I've clearly not had a brand new iPhone in a hot minute, but this packaging is so sleek. It looks really bougie. It's just gorgeous I mean oh, I just want to crack it open but I wanted to show you the packaging first and obviously with Apple everything's just so easy to open so it's got this little pull up bit here so let's remove this outer packaging oh, that was just lovely and then let's turn it round and the rest of it, it just comes off so easily, so get rid of that. So nice. I've not, I mean, it, it's been a while obviously, but I don't recall seeing any kind of black um, Apple packaging. My MacBook Pro was definitely white packaging because it's right up there. As I mentioned, this is the graphite color and I've seen unboxings of the gold iPhone just because I just had to have a little look because that is the one that I would potentially have gone for historically. But it had the gold kind of print on the box. This one has got that lovely kind of grey graphite colour. So love that. Taking it out, try not to drop it on the floor and I'll put that down. And without dropping it, oh, there she is. She's gorgeous. I love that the back of the phone is matte. That to me is just such a delight to my optic nerves. The camera is huge. As I mentioned, this was one of the reasons why I went for this model of iPhone because of the camera. I love taking photos. This is like an amazing version in terms of video and camera as well so I can't wait to play around with the features on it. I'll try not to, to drop it. Oh God, I'm so clumsy but little bit to pick her up. And the back is gorgeous. I am so glad that I went for this graphite version. It feels more I want to say a little bit more grown up, but I think they're all lovely, but this is really nice. As you can see around the edges, it's like really shiny around those edges. I am going to get 5 million fingerprints on it before this day is done. I've noticed that the buttons are a little bit further down, so that's going to take her a little second to get used to, but I don't hate it. The power button is on this side here. 
so it does it feels like it's quite a lot further down on this older model the power button is here by where my thumb is and on this one it's like quite a bit further down I took my 7 plus out of its case but just to give you a size comparison there's actually not that much in it it is very very slightly bigger than the 7 plus so now I'm going to take off the front cover are you ready for this? Let's just savour this. <laughs> Love it. And one of the things that I should have pointed out is that it shows you on this piece of paper where like the volume buttons are and where the power button is as well. So good to know, but I probably should have pointed that out before. I'm not used to having such a huge screen. This is so exciting. It's a lot heavier than my old phone. It really feels quite a bit heavier. As I've mentioned, the sides are really reflective and glossy, just a pure fingerprint magnet going on there. So, oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll switch her on in a minute, but before I do, We'll just have a little look at what's in the rest of the box. We've got the USB-C charging cable. Now, one of the gripes that I had when reading and doing a little bit of research about the iPhone Pro Max was that it doesn't come with that charging brick. For anybody who has not changed the phone in a hot minute like myself, I don't actually have that brick. All that you get in this box is the charging cable but luckily as part of this package with my phone provider I am getting an accessories bundle which will give me um, the charging pad and a few other bits and bobs including a phone case which is just a transparent one at this point and a screen protector and all of that good stuff so I'm really happy about that but I don't know I think we should have been offered the either or option because not everybody is upgrading from an iPhone 11. Um, that's my only gripe but I do appreciate that there's efforts to protect the environment and concentrate on recycling so that's good however it's left me in a little bit of a pickle but you know, first world problems. Luckily, earlier on this year, I bought a MacBook Pro, um, which was the brand new model, and I've got a charging brick with that. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to use that USB-C charger with this phone, but I don't know. It was just a little bit of a sticking point. So back to the box, we've got this bit, and it's got the little ejector key on there. So that's all that's in the box. So back to the beautiful phone. I'm going to switch her on. Ooh. She's saying hello. The screen is huge. I am so excited to just watch all of the YouTube videos on here. Swiping up, go for English, UK. Oh, it's just so nice. The back of the phone is matte and it's actually a lot lighter grey than I thought it was going to be but the three camera lenses there have got that glossiness that you see around the sides of the iPhone. I love the contrast between the matte of the back of the phone and then the glossiness of the camera and around that three camera lens part I've already got fingers on it. I think that's going to happen a lot and I'm definitely going to give the whole thing a good wipe down before I do put it in the phone case. This graphite is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. It still looks dark grey but it's lighter than that and I've heard that about the gold model as well. It's not quite as gold, it's more of a champagne type shade. So. This is absolutely stunning. 
it's updating now from the cloud. As I mentioned, one of the reasons why I decided to go for this model was because of the cameras and the cameras on here are noticeably more prominent from the back of the phone. I decided to go for the middle 256 gig option because I want to film a lot more on this phone and take lots more pictures so I just needed that additional storage. I've ordered some brand new cases from Berger which is B-U-R-G-A and they've got really gorgeous phone cases so I got a deal where you, if you bought four then you got two of them for free so I'm waiting for those to come. I'm also waiting for my accessories bundle to come as well. If you're interested I'm thinking about doing a follow-up video to this one which shows you how I'm getting on with using this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, if you want to see that let me know in the comments down below I'll show you what accessories I bought for it I'll let you know how I'm getting on with using it and um, I'll let you know what the accessories bundles like yeah if you're interested do let me know in the comments if you're interested in cleaning and organizing then I post videos twice every week on a Wednesday and a Sunday so please do hit that subscribe button down below and if you've liked this video give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching I'm gonna go and play with my new toy now and I will see you in the next one bye